Hello and welcome to the Flagstaff County Podcast. I'm your host, Kerry Castagna, Communications Coordinator for Flagstaff County. Joining me today is Flagstaff County's new Director of Municipal Services, Jonathan Dahl. Welcome, Jonathan. Uh, thanks for having me, Kerry. I look forward to this. Uh, uh, you know, I've, I've listened to a couple of your podcasts, so I'm excited to finally be on your slot. You've made time for me, which I appreciate. Well, I appreciate your time. Uh, first off, should I call you Jonathan or John or Mr. Dahl? You know, just don't call me late for dinner, uh, and that'll work <laughs> for me. Perfect. You're listening to the official podcast of Flagstaff County. All right. Now, your official start date was in late July, so it's been a few a few months now. Uh, how's it going so far? Yeah, so far so good. Uh, you know, obviously uh, some big shoes to fill with uh, Daryl in this position. Lots of knowledge that he's gained over his long tenure here at the county. Uh, but uh, everybody in the team, uh, not only in our department, but the whole county organization has been wonderful uh, right up to the, and including the counselors. So uh, I have a lot to learn uh, still, but I, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp so far. Uh, your title is Municipal Services Director or Director of Municipal Services. Can you talk a little bit about what that entails in your own words? So I really think it's the, the glue that keeps uh, all the, the moving parts uh, together uh, is kind of uh, how I like to think of it. Uh, you know, we have lots of different programs uh, within the municipal services from hamlets to road maintenance to eggs uh, and parks. So just making sure that we have cohesion between all of them and, uh, you know, really trying to improve uh, resource um, utilization between the teams and make sure that they're, they're helping each other out when they need as well. So just uh, that common voice between every everybody. Yeah, we should point out the reorganization too because um, transpor- the transportation department used to be called Public Works and now that's under municipal services and also you uh, oversee ag services department ag services has parks yeah and so it's it's kind of uh you know sometimes you get caught up and especially with the old uh uh, naming of public works uh, you know municipal services is so much more than just transportation it's you know it it is a a broader broader stroke now with the the integration of um ag and and the parks department but you have a good team it's it's top notch. Yeah, I would say, you know, one of the best counties. Maybe it's a little biased, but uh, you know that's how I feel. Are a lot of really good uh, team members. You know, everybody knows what they're doing. Uh, works well with everybody. You know, everybody has is willing to help out each other, even if it's not necessarily their a- area uh, that they're hired to do. They're all willing to share knowledge that they've gained over their you know long tenure here as well. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, well, let's go back a little bit. Uh, can you share a bit about your background and what led you to this role at Flagstaff County? Yeah, sure. So I'm a, I'm a Cedric boy, uh, born and raised. Uh, I, I spent, uh, you know, 20 years, the first 20 years of, uh, of my life here in Cedric within Flagstaff County. Uh, you know, I started out uh, working for Arnett and Burgess here. Uh, I spent three or four years working for them. Ended up getting my pipe fitting uh, ticket, went on to uh, continue working for some larger uh, uh, oil field construction services across Alberta and Saskatchewan. Decided that, you know, winters are cold and long and dark and, uh, you know, I better off get a little bit more education. So I went back, uh, enrolled into a state uh, petroleum engineering course and completed a two-year diploma there. Was fortunate enough to get on as a superintendent with uh, a larger Oilfield Construction Company did projects at the Heartline Petroleum Project uh, outside of Fort Saskatchewan for a couple of years and then gone on to the Trans Mountain for a year, learned lots about uh, people management, uh, working under tight deadlines, working with, uh, um, you know, interesting stakeholders, I guess would be the the, the key word there, and then uh, ended up, uh, you know, was doing lots of traveling, always on the road working uh, so I was lucky enough to get uh, employment with EPCOR out of the in the city of Edmonton in their wastewater department uh, doing capital projects, uh, which was really nice, uh, great place, you know, home every night, good working conditions. Uh, but then I did see a, a posting in Flagstaff in our in our wonderful paper uh, f- for a position here at the county and uh, talking to some some friends 
in the area. They said, you know, yeah, I might be a right fit for that. Uh, I don't have a huge uh, knowledge in road building, um, but, uh, you know, the knowledge that I lack, we have it in our subject matter experts here uh, with our field coordinators and our admin team. Uh, so I decided to, to draft up a resume, send it off, and I was lucky enough to get an uh, interview. And, you know, uh, it's, it's good to be back uh, in Flagstaff. There's lots of perks to, to live in here rather than in cities. So yeah, different. I was going to ask you about that then. So you're a Sedgwick boy. Uh, uh, did you graduate from high school here too? I, I did. You know, there's some of the local teachers uh, might have helped me out with some of my grades to make oh, sure yeah. that I, I, I did get to walk across that stage actually if you yeah. if you rewind it all the way back uh you know that september issue of the you know the third week in september of the community press you'll you'll see my my shining face full spread right on the front page oh you're on the cover right 2010 you you rolled her back 2010 there there i am okay I'll have red, to ask Leslie to... red suit and all oh, i thought yeah. i thought i was real dapper all right. um, well, we'll, we'll check. We'll check that out. See if, I, I had see to, if Leslie still has a copy. I had a, I had a lot more hair back then, um, uh, and so you know maybe my younger, childish good looks, but uh, more experience now, I suppose. Oh yeah. Well, that's only fourteen years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad, but you know, yeah. lots lots can happen in that time. So. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah. So this is a homecoming of sorts for you. Um, did you ever think that, uh, you know, growing up here that you'd one day be working for the county or is that something you, you kind of thought in the back of your mind or, you, you know what, I never, uh, you know, I never put, uh, never put too much thought into it. Uh, you know, I think as a kid growing up in, in Flagstaff, you kind of, you chase the big lights and, you know, the small town, you, you, you want that, uh, the fast buzz of the city lights, but you, mm -hmm. th those those dwell on you pretty fast or wear you down. So it's it's good to be back, and I think you know part of an organization like this really balances you know the work life, um, some great perks, you know, a great team that they have built here. Um, you know, it, it really starts any any good organization or company. You know, starts with the foundation of the people, and I, I find that the people here that I've interacted with um, have all been wonderful. Right from you know. The seasonals that we hire year on year um, to the full time staff yeah. um, have all been wonderful, uh, welcoming, and, and the grass uh, isn't always greener, right? Like, yeah, that is that is that is very true. That it's you know I've uh, I've chased a lot of things, and once you get over there, you realize uh, yeah that you're you're still not satisfied. Uh, but I, I do find myself here um, with this organization and, and the, the unique opportunities that, uh, that are present here. Uh, I look forward to, um, you know, every day being a little bit different and, you know, um, mm. the unique, yeah, opportunities, I think is, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's really good exciting. to have you back. So now we obviously take our direction from County Council, but what is your vision for municipal services in Flagstaff County over the next few years? So I really, I'm a big, uh, I've been, uh, maybe spoiled with some of the companies that I've worked with. Uh, they they really jump two feet into with, uh, you know, d d using uh, and leveraging tech to to help out uh, create efficiencies. And and uh, what I would really like to see is us, you know, look into what what services are available to us right now and what's coming down the pipeline to see if we can, you know, create efficiencies and and you know that that increases the the level of service that we can give to our our residents without you know, increasing the bill is usually mm -hmm. the thing is that how can we stretch the dollar further? And, and I think, you know, when you, you inter incorporate some tech that makes, you know, it may be it's tracking the graders or, or, or it's tracking the sprayers, you know, to see and, and identify uh, where we can be more efficient and, and we can uh, get those efficiencies and, and stretch that dollar a little bit further is kind of my, uh, my initial uh, goals right now. All right, and this is kind of a, a little bit along the same lines, but what are your top priorities as you begin your tenure here? Your top priorities would be, you know, getting a, a grasp, of, uh, a complete grasp of how things are operating right now and, and then working with the teams to have a holistic uh, look at, at each program and our policies and seeing, you know, do they need updating? 
Uh, are they working? Are they not working? Where can we find the efficiency? So first and foremost, you know, understand why we do the things we do and then uh, really dissect each one uh, program by program to see if there's any efficiencies or, uh, you know, anything that's redundant that we can maybe remove. Um, and just, uh, yeah, just looking for... Like those efficiencies that you... Yeah, I think that's yeah. that's the key. It's just, you know, having an outside eyes and, and to question some things is, is always fresh. And, and I think it's, you know, sometimes you get, uh, um, you know, set in your ways and there's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, you know, as tech changes or as equipment changes, um, you just need to take another look at it and make sure that it's still working for, for the yeah. organization. All right. Now, you uh, let's talk a little bit about your predecessor, uh, Daryl Schott had a significant impact during his time here, and he's his time here is just winding down. And he was mo- obviously most recently as a municipal services director. How do you plan to build on the foundation that he has laid? Yeah, Daryl is uh, is invaluable. Um, you know, even just before this podcast, I was in his office. Uh, I had a couple questions to, to to rack off him, and you know, it's definitely going to be. Um, a huge knowledge loss. I'm doing my best to to try to uh, uh, take as much as I can before he before he retires and uh, and create a, a, a little knowledge uh, knowledge transfer of, of Daryl. Um, but yeah, like you said, the foundation that he's built here, and you know, I'll I'll say it starts with the team that he's that he's recruited, that he's mentored, and that he's uh, refined is 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 uh, top notch, top tier. So really. Um, uh, fortunate enough for myself that we, 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 I'm walking into an organization with such a strong base uh, for its people, right from, again, the full-time staff to the, the repeat seasonal staffs all, all the way. So I, I continue looking on to build on his the, the people, the team that he's built uh, here. And then with that, it's, you know, he's he's passionate about uh, municipal services, obviously about roads, mm-hmm. uh, and, and really uh, just trying to leverage that passion that he's he's fostered over his long uh, career here uh, and also trying to reach out and 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 build those relationships with all the people his network of people that he has outside because uh, one thing I find uh, with the municipal services uh, and uh, you know counties is that the, they're very open to share uh, all our neighbors are, are all welcoming for you know any questions and they'll give you uh, an honest answer see what's working for them what's not working for them so just mm-hmm. uh, really just fostering what he's already developed with within our uh, county and with the counties around us is just to continue building that uh, relationship, that open policy, and, uh, yeah, just continue on the good work that he, 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 he started and, it, and he's, uh, he a- has been executing extremely well. Um, anything in particular that you guys have kind of gone over uh, or any particular advice maybe that he's had for you or anything that comes to mind? I know I'm kind of putting you on the spot with that question, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you know, Daryl has given me uh, tons of uh, invaluable de- advice. Uh, you know, uh, being a, a public-facing um, and, you know, people, we may not always get it right. You know, it's just being able to, you know, not take anything too personally and, and just, you know, continue on, you know, don't hold grudges, don't, uh, you know, keep up the, you know executing at a high level and 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 making sure that we're communicating clearly not only within our organization but to the through the rate payers as well because you know uh communication goes a long ways and i think he's he's fostered that so just mm-hmm. continue to to inform the people of what's going on because you know uh information is key and and if they understand why we're doing certain things then they uh, the rate payers are more um yeah, if they have the right the reasons, right? Yeah, they, they that's know that's all they want to know, right? Is yeah, why we're doing. Yeah, yeah if you if, if they understand the basis of what we're doing and why we're doing it and the goals that we're we're hoping to achieve, you know, it, it makes everything a lot smoother in, in the end. Because because we all want the same thing, right? We want to uh, serve the residents of Flagstaff County the best we possibly can. Yeah, um, that's you know, what it boils down to. And you know, you 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 you, you want to get Daryl on a passionate topic, and it's roads, and he's yeah. passionate from. The, the road, the gravel loss, like he's, he's everything about roads. So like, you know, that's what we, we, we want to keep up and we, you know, we want to create that safe, reliable network of roads within the county that, you know, everybody gets to use and they're there at any time. Yeah, for sure. So are there 
specific aspects of Daryl's leadership or approach that you admire and hope to continue? Yeah, I find Daryl has a really personal relationship with every person. He can, he knows all the greater men. He knows, you know, the egg service team. He, he knows everyone uh, almost on a personal level. So I, I hope to mirror that. I think, you know, people are more receptive to you when they feel that you, you care about them. So, um, you know, I've been, you know, meeting with all the, the members of the team. And I know we have a large staff that, uh, you know, is seasonal and, and hopefully they come back year on year and, and we can foster those relationships. And uh, I, I really admire how he has that personal approach when he, uh, when he goes about anything is, is something. And then he's, he, he also has a steadfast determination of, you know, if something's not right, he, he, he'll make sure that it gets fixed. And, and he has the, you know, holds the people accountable who need to be held accountable to, to yeah. execute at a high level. And, and that's uh, definitely something that I, I'll, be, I'll be hopefully uh, carrying on after he leaves. All right, so um, I know you mentioned tech before, but are there any other areas uh, that you see opportunities for change or improvement as you step into this role? Yeah, I think we're uh, looking at, uh, you know, how some of our programs are broken up and uh, which hat, you know, certain members of our team wear. And we're just looking at, you know, as things have changed, uh, our programs and policies have changed. Uh, maybe some of our um, resource allocation haven't caught up or kept up with those recent changes. So uh, we're just going to look at it holistically, take it back, and and uh, and see where where the cards actually fall, and and see if we can create efficiencies that way. And and um, yeah, that's uh, the goal is to uh, to just to make sure that the right people are doing the right job. Is yeah. So we're, we're, focusing on and like you mentioned cost efficiency is always at the forefront yeah if we can do anything to find uh uh more efficient ways of doing things and it comes down to you know simple things like watching idling time if you idle a piece of equipment well you know the county has you know x amount of equipment well at certain liters per hour that you burn it all is dollars and cents in the end of the day so mm -hmm. it's really hounding that home to our operators as well and, and making sure that they see the whole picture it's not just we're harping on anyone in particular but it it, it you know it's a, it's just you have to you have to a team approach to to really have an effect on that and and uh it, it'll be key to keep fostering that relationship and, and uh, drive home those efficiencies is there anything else you'd like to share with the residents of Flagstaff County as you begin this new role? Yeah, I look forward to meeting everybody. I, I have a relationship with some people in the county, obviously, from my tenure here, but uh, there's definitely lots of, lots of people that I, I, I'm unfamiliar with. So if they're ever in the Flagstaff office area and they want to stop by and introduce themselves, I'm always welcome for a chat. And, and uh, Coffee's always on. Coffee is always on, and... Uh, and uh, I always make time for anybody that wants to stop by and, and have a conversation. And hopefully they're positive. But if, again, we welcome any uh, criticism because, uh, you know, without knowing, we don't know what we don't know. And, and yeah. really we, we, we need um, all the eyes of our, our residents uh, that, um, you know, highlight issues that, you know, we don't see. We only have, you know, nine maintenance greater men, but there's – hundreds of residents so if you see an issue with your your roads don't 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 hesitate to to call in and, and let us know and uh we'll sort it out and definitely have that open line of communication where we'll let you know uh there's a lot of roadway there's a, it's a big county it is it's it's a lot right and then we have limited resources right we want to uh be uh responsible with how we spend our money and we don't yeah. want to just have idle grader and idle grader men just uh, you know waiting for that phone call so trying to find that sweet spot where uh the the greater men can be um out there maintaining our level of uh, our roads to a level of service and um but again it helps us um if the the public can let us know if there's there's areas that need need, need more need more uh work than than others and we'll definitely uh, map that and and create create uh, you know a hot spot um where we can service that area more frequently all right well thanks a lot jonathan um i i think today was just about kind of introducing you to our residents and, and I hope we can do this again um, but uh, for now thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join me today it's been a pleasure having you on the Flagstaff County podcast yeah thank you so much I look forward to our, our future dates and uh, 
future conversations and uh, yeah, collaborating with others in the, at the office here. So thanks so much for having me. Perfect. All the best. Thank you. Perfect.